Happy Timely Tuesday, friends. It's Roger coming at you from the bunker of awesome. It is January 19th as we are posting this video. And uh, this week I want to talk with you about kind of a, a, a key concept to making your year awesome. And the reason why we're doing this today is because we've reached, like this week, we've reached a pretty important sort of juncture in the year. We're right at about the three week mark. The novelty of the new year has worn off. We are officially out of the honeymoon phase with 2021. So it's a key time to kind of check in with yourself, make sure that your head is on straight, and there's a good way to do that that won't take you a whole lot of time. So if you're interested in getting a little bit more centered and really getting moving, for the long haul of 2021. Stick around for a few minutes. We're going to have a good time together. Let's go. So here's what I mean when I said three weeks. We all know that it takes 21 days to form a habit, or at least the minimum amount of time that it takes to start forming a new habit. So whether you like it or not, we are in the habit of being in 2021. The new year is kind of starting to feel like the old year. And um, you know what? A few things have happened. <laughs> A few, just a few things have happened uh, in the new year. Some big things that may or may not be affecting you uh, practically, but likely are affecting you mentally. So what I wanted to talk with you about here today is a, a concept that I practice and that I have my clients practice. Anytime you're beginning a journey of more than like a couple days or a couple weeks. And it's something that we like to call the Hudson Bay Start. Actually, well, it's not that we like to call it that. That's what it's known as. I was taught this concept, oh gosh, about 10 years ago. And I thought it really, really made a lot of sense. The Hudson Bay start was uh, sort of, co the, the, coin, the term was coined. The coin was not termed. The term was coined <laughs> uh, by the Hudson Bay Fur Trading Company, which still exists today. It is the oldest continually active company in the world. Got its start in northern Canada, like up in the up on Hudson Bay, um, back in like the 1600s, 1700s, as a fur trading company. And fundamentally, what they did back in the day was they sent they sent voyagers out on long long, months-long expeditions to trap furs and goods and that sort of thing and bring them back to the company that they would then distribute all over the world. Very, very valuable company. It was sort of the Walmart of its day. Um, and the, the, these expeditions that we're talking about were literally, these were, you know, bands of human beings that would journey down rivers literally thousands of miles these you know in canoes these trips would be fraught with danger and so the way that they would always begin their trip on a trip of uh, on a trip that was literally going to be 1500 miles one way the expedition would get their gear together they'd get in their boats and they'd start off down the river and then they would stop and make camp about a mile away from base. Like they would go hardly any distance at all. And they would literally set up camp. Why would they do this? So it seems this seems crazy, right? Like you'd be why would you why would you why why would you stop? Wouldn't you want to get off to a fast start? Wouldn't you want to like make as much time as you possibly could? No, this was one of the keys to their success is they'd go about a mile down river and they would set up camp. And the reason why is because they wanted to make sure that they had everything that they needed. If they were missing anything, if they had forgotten a key piece of gear, they wanted to know while they still had the ability to like walk back to base and get what they needed, right? So it's, it's kind of a genius concept because like if, right, I mean, if you find out that you, you know, forgot the kindling or whatever, you want to know that when you still have the opportunity to go back to base and get it rather than be 20 miles away and have to hold up the show um, for an extended period of time. So why, why, why am I telling you about fur trading expeditions? It's because in terms of this year, this is kind of 
we're, we're, we're kind of at that one mile, we're, we're kind of at that one mile mark, right? We've really just gotten going. Here it is, like I said, it's the 19th. A, a, enough has happened in our journey that we're in it, but you know what? We're still really early in the game. We're still in mid-January right now, which means that in terms of hitting your goals or making 2021 the kind of year that you want it to be, you still have basically all the time left. I know it's really easy. I, I know it's really easy if you stumble out of the gate to kind of feel like, well, here we are two weeks into the year and I'm screwed already. That's not actually possible. You know I'm an advocate of fast starts. You know I'm an advocate of coming out of the gates well. And I'm pleased to say that we've actually done a pretty good job of that as a company and so our, our clients have too. But I also know that it's really easy to face some adversity. And, you know, I'm going to say that all of us have experienced some things that we didn't see coming back on January 20th. Two weeks ago, <laughs> some, things that ha some things have happened since two weeks ago that I don't think too many of us could have predicted. And it's possible that you've been kind of knocked for a loop a little bit mentally. Guess what? you got plenty of time. So now is the time to just kind of check in with yourself. Do you got all your gear? Right? Have the have your have your your new year's resolutions that you made a couple of weeks ago. Those those opportunities to hit the gym and you know make the calls and get the projects off to a fast start and lose the weight and and do all the things that you wanted to do. Those had steps and you probably had laid out those steps. How you been doing? You know what? If um if you're in the situation where you're cooking right along and you've been hitting the gym and you've been doing dry January and you've been making the calls and you've been digging up the business and you've been doing the things that you need to do, good on you. Check in, give yourself a little bit of a pat on the back and then move forward. If you're in the situation where maybe you've already gotten off track, you know what I mean? Like I, 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 I've been there where it's three weeks into a new year and you're like, yeah, all these great habits that I had said I wanted to develop, I'm still waiting to get started, still waiting to get off the dime. Or maybe you got maybe you got off to a great start and then you just kind of got knocked down. If you're in those either one of those situations, good news is it's never too late to get started. You're still in the window where, hey, if you need to take a deep breath, and kind of go, all right, I'm here. You're still only about a mile away from camp, which means that if you need to go and get the help that you need, or if you, figuratively speaking, forgot a piece of gear, or if you just, you know, kind of let something slip that you didn't even realize that you did, now is the time where it's totally safe to check in and get yourself back on track. I hope this is inspiring to you. We're just at a key juncture in the year. So I guess my advice to you, my little homework assignment for you for this week, whatever situation you're in, sometime this week, just do a little bit of an assessment. Where are you at? Have you gotten off to a great start? Have you face planted right out of the gates? Or are you just kind of still getting the motor going? Right now, all of them are totally okay. So acknowledge that. Give yourself a little bit of space to go, all right, where am I at? 10% of the way into the, less than 10% of the way into the year. We're at about the 5% mark right now. So it's just a good time to check in on your Hudson Bay start. Listen, if I can be of service to you, if my team can be of service to you, please reach back out, shoot me an email. We're here to help. It's what we do. We're going to have an awesome 2021, regardless of what happens out there, because the game is actually in here. Make it a great day. Make it a great week. We'll talk to you real soon.